Okay, it's beer o'clock again on the Real Ale Guide. Today's beer is a beer from the Brackery Brewery and it's a bottle of their Bredo Saison. Brewed with barrette yeast. And this is an apple and mango Saison. How wonderful does that sound? Let's get this beer open into a glass. See what we get. There's the black bottle cap with the white Barakare signature label. Whoa, loads and loads of smoke then on the on the beer. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. Now this has been I've been looking at this beer all week long. Apple and mango saison. In my mind, now it's a bit of a yeast cake on the bottom of this, so I'm going to shake it up and get it into the glass. In my mind, it's like it's an absolute wonder as to as to what this is going to smell like and taste like. I bet it's going to be an absolute fruit lover's dream. Um, I do like saisons. Big fan of that kind of funky funkiness with the beer. I can smell it from here. At this stage of the review, I'd like to thank my good friend Johan over in Sweden for sending me the beer, and. Um, I had a couple of comments from the Breckery Brewery myself uh, on the last review and they were kind of, thank you very much for the review. So cheers guys over to Breckery, beer in the glass then, it looks, it's, again I got all the yeast in, you, you kind of do with this, with this style of beer, mix it up, get it in there, it looks like a, kind of a bit of a banana milkshake if you like, it's, uh, it's cloudy, it's a little bit, it looks like a Saison. Let's give it a nose. Wow, wow, wow. It smells wonderfully fruity. It smells like a big apple. It almost smells a little bit like a cider. But a very... I've been thinking about that word funky. Now, a lot of people use the word funky and I can't, after smelling the beer and after kind of thinking about it for a while you can't pick a better word than the word funky for this kind of nose it's very sharp it's very fruity it's yeasty it's very yeast prominent beer in the flavor i'm gonna dig into this one cheers everyone Ooh. <laughs> oh oh Oh, I keep stepping back. If I if I step any further back, I'm gonna start clicking the the, the gas the gas hob on the cooker. Um, that's very unusual, but very nice. It's very dry, very dry. Um, when I get knocked on off my feet with a, with a beer, I always seem to put it down first, just in case I fall over. Um, Yes, very dry, it's extremely fruity, it's very kind of carbonated on the tongue. Mmm. Super fresh, zingy and funky, it's kind of boom on your tongue. Um, do you know, if, if I was kind of, if I wanted to stay up, put a film on, kind of tired, Halfway through the film, I'm kind of starting to snooze a little bit maybe through the film. I'm struggling to keep my eyes open. This is the kind of beer I'd probably just jump up and get an, or, you know, if, if the wife was bringing me a beer or if I was going to the fridge, I'd get something like this because it's so alive, it's so pow, it would, it would sit you up in your chair and you, <sighs> was I really falling asleep? This would be a beer to... Awaken your senses again. So you're picking up that Brett yeast. It's a lovely mouthfeel. It's very, it's very fruity, but at the same time, it's beery. It's, it's very malty. Um, there's a little bit of hop, bitter, kind of flavours going on there, and, and experiences. But the predominant flavour is, is, is um, of fruit and of sweetness in the mouth. 
quite dry, but at six percent, it's an absolute wonder of a beer. <gasps> Let's wash the beer around in the glass then, show you guys what we get, and then give it a final nose. Now in the nose it's that it's farmyard, it's horse blankets. Mixed with fruit, mixed with cider. You definitely pick up the apples massively in the nose and the mango. But it's it's just a monumental beer. I'm nearly into six minutes, so I'm gonna give it a final. I can stand and talk about this beer all night long, but I gotta cut it now. Um, let's give you a final thought and a rating for the breakery. Braydock, Breckery, Brewery, Braydock, Beer. Uh, my final thoughts on rating for this beer then is, um, I love it, absolutely love it. I've tried some kind of, um, I've tried some Ikea laggers before this review. Um, they, they were alright, they were quite nice. Um, but this is just, just a different level, a different class altogether. Um, I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 beer from the Real Ale Guide. Please put your comments in the comments box. Thank you very much to Johan for sending me the beer. Um, please subscribe to my daily beer reviews and cheers.